Hello, my wonderful computer scientists. Uh, today I'm just going to make a redo video of movement. One of my students pointed out that the movement video is a little overcomplicated to start with, so I'm going to make an easier version. So let me start by setting up my scene. So I'm just going to grab some basketball player sprites. So I'm going to grab Andy, I want Jamal, maybe I'll grab uh, Sports, maybe I'll grab one more player, maybe Dorian. Okay. So now I have my three ba basketball players. Maybe I'll grab a basketball court background. And what I want to do today is movement. I'm actually going to grab a basketball as well. And the basketball is what I'm going to move. So we today's uh, video is going to be about making things move. I'm going to focus on the most simple form of movement, which is glides. You can get a lot done with glides. And hopefully they get you start thinking about how sprites move. And then maybe you can look at the more complicated video from there. Uh, before I go into movement, I'm going to delete these extra basketballs out of these characters' hands. Because they don't need them right now. Because we have this basketball. So what I want my code to do, when we want something to move, I think the first thing we need to know is what sprite we want to move and how we want to move it. So I want to move my basketball. And I think what I'll set up today is I'll have it so that maybe my characters pass the basketball to each other when I pers press certain keys. And then no matter who has it, I'll make it so that spacebar shoots the ball. So let's start with spacebar shooting the ball. So maybe I'll have an event. So when space key is pressed, I need my ball to go flying to this net right here. Also, my ball's a little big. I'm going to shrink it down because it's a little bit bigger than my net. So I'll make it size 50. I'll make it size 60. Alrighty. So I need my ball to go up to that net when I shoot it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to... I'm going to manually drag the ball there myself, and what that'll do is that'll let me see the coordinates, the X and the Y. The X and the Y means how far across it is and how far up and down it is. We'll talk more about that later in the year. Um, but for now, just know that when we want to move our sprites, I'm going to move my sprite to where I want it to go to, and then I'm going to grab this motion block called Glide to. So glide for one second to X, Y. And again, the X and the Y is saying where our sprite is. So now, no matter where the ball is, when I press space bar, it's going to glide to that net. But when I play basketball in real life, usually when someone shoots the ball, it doesn't just float above the net. Usually, once it's here, it's going to fall down into the net. So maybe I'll make it so that once it's here, it'll glide down through the net and into this per character's hand. So I'll add another glide that makes it move to here. So if I want to do that, I have to move the ball to where I want it to end up, which is right in this guy's hand. And then I'll add in a glide to make it go there. So now, no matter where the ball is, when I press spacebar, it'll glide to the hoop, and it'll glide down to this character's hand. Maybe what I also want is two buttons to make it passed the ball between different characters. So maybe I'll make it so that if I hit the left arrow key, it'll pass it to the player on the left. And when I hit the right arrow key, it'll pass it to the player on the right. So I want it to pass the player to the left. So I want it to go right here. So I just have to drag the basketball where I want it, which is right here. And then go to motion and grab the glide. And I want it to, and I also want code to drag it to the character on the right. So I'll move it to where I want it. And then I'll add in a glide to make it move there when I hit the right arrow. So now if I hit left arrow, it'll pass it to the guy on the left. Right arrow will pass it to the guy on the right. And spacebar will make whoever has it shoot, including this guy. He could pass it to him. He could pass it back to him. He could pass it back to him. He could shoot it. This guy can shoot it. This guy could pass it to whoever. Whoever has it could pass it, shoot it through the net. Now we have a cute little basketball game. And that's with movement. Hopefully this is very straightforward, how to add glides. You just bring the ball wherever you want, and then you bring in glide to, and this will give you a piece of code that when it's run, will bring the ball to where you had had it when you brought this block in. There's a lot of other movements that you guys can play around with. You, there's a glide to random position. So maybe... You know, maybe when I click on the basketball, it moves to a random spot. So now maybe this guy has the ball, and then I click on it, and he drops it. Maybe 
maybe this guy has the ball and I hit space bar. Or maybe the ball is going up to the net and I click on it and it, instead of going to the net, it like flies away somewhere. But um, so you could play around with random position. You could play around with, you know, uh, move 10 steps. If you know how to use a loop, loop, you could make it so that something, you know, moves 10 steps a few times. So maybe I'll repeat that 10 times and the ball will move 10 steps 10 times, which will make it move as well. But I cover some of the more complicated movements in the other movement guide, which you'll also be able to see. Hopefully this helps. Hopefully this gives you a more simple way to first learn movement. And again, as always, if you need any help, feel free to email me. Thank you, and I'll see you later.